Even though we may be struggling on different issues on a day-to-day -day basis, or we're just struggling to keep a roof over our head, or our children in school and out of prison, or to keep a hospital open, sisters and brothers, we're all in the same boat. We're all in the same boat, which is this horrendous capitalist system, which only cares about making profits over meeting human needs. Did you vote for the war in Iraq? No. Did you vote for the war in Afghanistan? No. Did you vote for the war in Libya? No. Did you even know there was war against Libya? Yes. Did you vote against the attack that is coming on Syria? No. Did you vote to bail out AIG? No. Did you vote to give $20 trillion to the banks and financial <laughs> institutions? No. Did you vote to cut public funding to education? No. Did you vote for mass incarceration? No. Then whose interests are these people serving then? Not the people's. Not ours. <laughs> Not ours. So we need to build a movement independent. When we say assembly, we mean a place where people can go and they can get answers to the things that they are fighting for that are being taken away from them. If your next door neighbor is being kicked out of their home, you should have an assembly. They go to the assembly, they speak about what's happening to them, and the assembly votes and decides to keep that person in their homes. If your school is being closed down, and the teachers and the students are fighting against it, they go to the assembly, and the assembly organizes and keeps that school from being shut down. That's right. If workers in a workplace need your help, they can go to an assembly and they can get the help that they need, whether it's occupying their workplace or it's kicking out their box. That's it's right. The hospital. That's the type of the If you want to keep the hospital open, if your hospitals are closing in your neighborhood, like they're doing all over New York City, it's up to the workers and the people in the community to occupy and take over that hospital, keep it open. That's, That's the right. type of movement that we need. We need to build independent struggle, and we need to fight for power. We say all power to the people, and damn it, we mean it. We want power. Particularly that this is a community speak out. And we'd love if people from this community, or for any community, would, that want to speak about what has happened to them with the NYPD to take the mic. We'd love people who have experienced police brutality in this city to take the mic. Peace, everybody. Peace. Um, about 1 a.m. in the morning on 6-18-05, my brother been shot and killed by the 32 precinct. The NYPD at the 32 precinct on 135th Street on 134th. My brother was in the car with tinted windows. They came by two undercover cops. My brother put the window halfway down. And all they seen, they judged him. And straight up, they seen tattoos on his, you know, on his body, and just straight shot him twice in his neck. And when me and my moms and my other brother came to see about what was going on, they arrested me and my moms and my brother for trying to find out what we did, what, you know, what was going on with my brother. So all the time that we was incarcerated at the 32 precinct, waiting for us to get let go for somebody that had just killed my brother, it was wrong. That this is a war against our people. This is a war against young people. It's a cold war. It's a bitter war. It's a psychological war. And it's an economic war because we have to lose school time. We lose days at work. We're always responding to summons every day. Just we're standing outside on our project stoop. If we're smoking a cigarette, for someone believing that a, a bag that we have in our hand contains alcohol in there. Today is the day. The day of deciding to go and fight tomorrow, the next month, the next week, the next hour is over. Today we decide, this moment, this step, this corner, we decide that our children are worth it. Our children are worth it. Not, they will never tell us that the lives of our babies matter. We decide to say the lives of our babies matter and we don't ask for power anymore, we take it in the Supreme in the Court on the federal level stating that the policy of stop and frisk is used unconstitutionally and, and is used in a form that racially profile people. So let's get a clear understanding. She did not say that the policy itself was racist and unconstitutional. She only said that the way the police department was using it was racist and unconstitutional. That's why that policy still 
continuing, and police are going to continue to stop people, continue to harass people, continue to criminalize people, and continue to treat people like they're subhuman or less of a human being. And that's why we have to continue to march and continue to speak about our anger, how we feel about the policy of stopping Chris here in New York City and other policy that is the same thing as stopping Chris, but it's called stand your grounds in other areas. We have folks that have started marching towards us from East Harlem. They're gonna join us in a minute. We have groups from that represent a million hoodies to picture the homeless. From May 1st Coalition, which is an immigrant rights group, from trade unions, from youth organizations, and we're gonna start here at the Harlem State Office Building, and we're marching to the Bronx. My name is Todd Brown. I'm with the Band of Brothers. At, I worked up in the Woodlawn Cemetery up in the Bronx. Uh, it's a very powerful organization. Uh, I was abused with racial discrimination as far as racial epithets. Uh, and when I spoke up against discrimination, I was hostily uh, uh, harassed. I mean, severely hostily uh, harassed. I, I was injured. They put me to do the hardest work. And I said to myself, damn. Yo, this is serious. I, I, I spoke out to EOC, I spoke out to protests, I spoke out to community groups, I spoke out to bail, bail out the people, South Bronx Community Congress, and just plain old people came out and showed concern for me. And that's how I got involved with activism. And the one thing I learned, that people must stand up for their rights. Estamos cansados de que la policía haga todos los destrozos que quieran con nuestras comunidades y salgan libres sin sin nada, no les pasó nada, es como eh, estamos cansados de que premien el mal comportamiento de los policías, queremos justicia para todos nuestros hermanos que han sido matados por la policía, queremos que pare la, la brutalidad policial contra nuestros jóvenes, queremos trabajo y educación, ya basta con todo esto, queremos que nuestros jóvenes tengan una oportunidad para ser mejores el día de mañana, ¿Qué país estamos dejando y no estamos ayudando a nuestros jóvenes a a crecer. Nosotros estamos aquí porque creemos en nuestros jóvenes. Um, what I want to really address today is the issue of rogue 
cops. A lot of times these cops kill our kids and we hear stories about rogue cops. Rogue cops, even the co cops they call rogue don't go to jail, that's the first thing. But um, our, cop, our kids aren't really killed by rogue cops, they're killed by police in the service of the capitalist system. That's who kill our, our kids. And they're defended by that system. That's why somebody like Richard Haste is walking the street right now uh, with all this evidence against him for killing Ramali Graham. That's right. Absolutely. A lot of folks get confused when the cops kill our kids and they don't want to come out because they say the kids are also killing the kids. Those are not the same issues. That's right. They're not the same issues. That's right. We got to get over that. We have to We have to do the right things to uh, to get our kids to um, stop killing each other. Definitely, we have to do what we can do. That's but right. that's caused by the conditions under which they live, primarily. Yes. And the Talk cops are here, primarily, to keep us from rebelling. That's there right. you go. There you go. There you go. So when, that, that is also why they want to, uh, um, that's why they target the kids that are um, teenagers, because yeah. those are Tell the militants. The the they the haven't yet learned to be afraid. Yes. Uh -huh. So we have to defend them, people. That's we gotta get out of our houses. We gotta get into the streets. We gotta fight the injustice of the police, of police brutality and police murder. We have a duty to fight. We have a duty to fight. We have a duty to win. We have a duty to win. We must love each other and protect each other. We must love each other and protect each other. My brothers and sisters, we have nothing to lose but our chains. We have nothing to lose but our chains. Give the loud, give the loud some love, yeah!